Bonaire is a Caribbean island which, together with Aruba and Curia section No, forms the group known as the ABC Islands, located off the north coast of South America near the western part of Venezuela. Bonaire's capital is Crelendige. The island has a permanent population of 17,408 and an area of 294 Akmas squared. The name Bonaire is thought to have originally come from the Caquishio word Bonet. The early Spanish and Dutch modified its spelling to Bozhage and also Bonaire, which means good air. Bonaire was part of the Netherlands Antilles until the country's dissolution on October 10, 2010, when the island became a special municipality within the country of the Netherlands. History, Original Inhabitants Bonaire's earliest known inhabitants were the Kakwishu Indians, a branch of the Arawak who came by canoe from Venezuela in about 1000 AD. Archaeological remains of Kakwishu culture have been found at certain sites northeast of Krilendij and near Lac Bay. Kakwishu rock paintings and petroglyphs have been preserved in caves at Spelonk, Onama, Sirupunji, and Sirukrita Cabe. The Kakwishios were apparently a very tall people, for the Spanish name for the ABC Islands was Las Islas de los Gigantes or the Islands of the Giants. European arrival, in 1499, Alonso de Ergida arrived in Curula Sectiono and a neighboring island that was almost certainly Bonaire. Ergida was accompanied by Amerigo Vespucci and Juan de la Cosa. De la Cosa's Mapa Mundi of 1500 shows Bonaire and calls it Isla do Palo Brasil or Island of Brazilwood. The Spanish conquerors decided that the three ABC islands were useless, and in 1515 the natives were forcibly deported to work as slaves in the copper mines of Santo Domingo on the island of Hispaniola. Spanish period, in 1526, Juan de Ampes was appointed Spanish commander of the ABC islands. He brought back some of the original Kakwishu Indian inhabitants to Bonaire and Curia Section O. Ampes also imported domesticated animals from Spain, including cows, donkeys, goats, horses, pigs, and sheep. The Spaniards thought that Bonaire could be used as a cattle plantation worked by natives. The cattle were raised for hides rather than meat. The Spanish inhabitants lived mostly in the inland town of Rincon, which was safe from pirate attack. Dutch period. The Dutch West India Company was founded in 1621. Starting in 1623, ships of the West India Company called at Bonaire to obtain meat, water, and wood. The Dutch also abandoned some Spanish and Portuguese prisoners there, and these people founded the town of Antriel, which is a contraction of Al Interior, or inside. The Dutch and the Spanish fought from 1568 to 1648 in what is now known as the Eighty Years' War. In 1633, the Dutch, having lost the island of St. Martin to the Spanish, retaliated by attacking Curia Section No, Bonaire, and Aruba. Bonaire was conquered in March 1636. The Dutch built Fort Orangi in 1639. While Curia Section No emerged as a center of the slave trade, Bonaire became a plantation of the Dutch West India Company. A small number of African slaves were put to work alongside Indians and convicts, cultivating dyewood and maize and harvesting solar salt around Blue Pan. Slave quarters, built entirely of stone and too short for a man to stand upright in, still stand in the area around Rincon and along the salt ponds as a grim reminder of Bonaire's repressive past. British period, during the Napoleonic Wars, the Netherlands lost control of Bonaire twice, once from 1800 to 1803 and again from 1807 to 1816. During these intervals, the British had control of the neighboring island of Curia Section O and of Bonaire. The ABC Islands were returned to the Netherlands under the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1814. During the period of British rule, a large number of white traders settled on Bonaire, and they built the settlement of Playa in 1810. Emancipation, from 1816 until 1868, Bonaire remained a government plantation. In 1825, there were about 300 government-owned slaves on the island. Gradually many of the slaves were freed, and became freemen with an obligation to render some services to the government. The remaining slaves were freed on September 30, 1862 under the Emancipation Regulation. A total of 607 government slaves and 151 private slaves were freed at that time. 
allotment. In 1867 the government sold most of the public lands, and in 1870 they sold the salt pans. The entire population became dependent on two large private landowners, and this caused a great deal of suffering for many people. Many inhabitants were forced to move to Aruba, Kurila Section No, or Venezuela. World War II During the German occupation of the Netherlands during World War II, Bonaire was a protectorate of Britain and the United States. The American army built the Flamingo Airport as an air force base. After Germany invaded the Netherlands on May 10, 1940, many Dutch and German citizens were interned in a camp on Bonaire for the duration of war. In 1944, Princess Juliana of the Netherlands and Eleanor Roosevelt visited the troops on Bonaire. Post-war, after the war, the economy of Bonaire continued to develop. The airport was converted to civilian use and the former internment camp was converted to become the first hotel on Bonaire. The Dutch Skulk family built a clothing factory known as Skulkskild and Industrie Bonaire. In 1964, Trans World Radio began broadcasting from Bonaire. Radio Netherlands Worldwide built two shortwave transmitters on Bonaire in 1969. The second major hotel was completed in 1962. Salt production resumed in 1966 when the salt pans were expanded and modernized by the Antilles International Salt Company, a subsidiary of the International Salt Company. The Bonaire Petroleum Corporation oil terminal was opened in 1975 for transshipping oil. Referendum 2010 An announced referendum that was scheduled on March 26, 2010 on the future of the island of Bonaire was cancelled in February 2010. The governor of the Dutch Antilles, Fritz Goethe Drag, decided to cancel it because it probably contravened international law, since part of the population is barred from voting. European Dutch nationals are only allowed to vote if they arrived on the island before January 1, 2007. The referendum was postponed to September and then October 2010. Eventually the referendum was held on December 17, 2010 with 84% voting in favor of becoming part of the Netherlands. However, as the 35% voter turnout rate was below the required 51%, the results of the referendum were declared invalid. On October 10, 2010 the Netherlands Antilles was dissolved, making Bonaire a special municipality of the Netherlands. Economy Bonaire's economy is mainly based on tourism. The island caters mainly to scuba divers and snorkelers, as there are few sandy beaches, while the surrounding reefs are easily accessible from the shore. Bonaire is world-renowned for its excellent scuba diving and is consistently rated among the best diving locations in the world. Bonaire's license plates carry the logo Divers Paradise. Bonaire is also consistently recognized as one of the best destinations for snorkeling. Windsurfers also make a strong group of island tourists, as the east side of the island has the large waves and wind gusts needed for windsurfing. Lac Bay, in the southeast, is shallow, yet windy, and hence is considered an excellent place for intermediate sailors to improve their skills. Tourism infrastructure in Bonaire is contemporary and based on timeshare resorts. There are a few small bed and breakfasts. Most resorts have an on site dive shop. The rest are affiliated with a dive operation. Ecology The island is ringed by a coral reef which is easily accessible from the shore along the western and southern sides. Furthermore, the entire coastline of the island has been declared a marine sanctuary, preserving local fish life. Montastia annularis was the most common coral during a recent 2011 survey. The coral reef around uninhabited Klein Bonaire is particularly well preserved and it draws divers, snorkelers, and boaters. Bonaire also has several coral reefs where seahorses can be found. Bonaire is also famed for its flamingo populations and its donkey sanctuary. Flamingos are drawn to the brackish water, which harbors the shrimp upon which they feed. Starting in the 16th century, the Dutch raised sheep, goats, pigs, horses and donkeys on Bonaire, and the descendants of the goats and donkeys roam the island today, with a small population of pigs roaming as well. Bonaire is also home to the ecologically vulnerable yellow-shouldered Amazon. 
The island of Bonaire has always been at the forefront of nature preservation and conservation and was ecologically responsible long before the mainstream efforts found today. With the Bonaire Marine Park and the protective status of the Washington Slag Bay I National Park, it was only logical to further explore optimal ways to deal with waste and recycle products. Green initiatives, due to a public-private sector partnership, programs are being developed to advance the local awareness and attitudes toward conservation and habitat preservation in order to proactively protect Bonaire's ecosystem. A new sewage treatment plant will contribute to protecting the reefs and the seawater quality. In March of 2013 Celebon NV, the National Garbage Processing Plant, opened an environmental court where the general public can bring glass, cans, paper, scrap metal, cardboard, batteries, motor oil, cooking oil, electronics, mobile phones and textiles. Bon Recycling BV is committed to recycling waste products in Bonaire and to create awareness among the people of Bonaire about the importance and benefits of recycling. Dive Friends Bonaire started a debris-free Bonaire program that emphasizes collecting debris washed ashore and delivering it to the dive shop for separation in preparation for handling by Bon Wrestling. Transportation Bonaire's first airport was located near Trae Monta plus or minus Asubai Blanku and walked across the current path of Krillendij to Rincon and was built in 1936. The airport proved to be too small when American soldiers arrived on Bonaire in the second half of 1943. The commander stated that a new airport had to be built. In December 1943, construction began in the vicinity of where the present airport now stands. The new airport named Flamingo Airport, was put into use in 1945. A small terminal was built that was suitable for the number of passengers at the time. This building was used until mid-1976. The airport had received many extensions of both the runway and the terminal itself. Today, the airport is known as Flamingo International Airport and is served by a variety of both domestic and international airlines. Services from the U.S. include United Airlines, Delta Airlines, and Insel Air. Airlines providing European service include Arcafly and KLM. Consistent air service from Kuala Section O is available through Divi Divi Air, Is Air, and Insel Air. Also direct service from Aruba to Bonaire is provided by Tiara Air. The airport comes equipped with a fire station, control tower, and hangar. Plans are underway for modifications to the current airport facilities, runway and the fire station. Geography Bonaire, as well as the rest of the ABC Islands and also Trinidad and Tobago, lies on the continental shelf of South America, and is thus geologically considered to lie entirely in South America. Bonaire has a land area of 288 Khmer squared, while Klein Bonaire is a further 6 Khmer squared. Bonaire's Ofteling Bivuking office reported that the population was 14,006 inhabitants in December 2006, which gives Bonaire Island proper a population density of 49 inhabitants per Khmer squared. Bonaire lies outside the hurricane belt, and is served by Flamingo International Airport. Washington Slag Bay I National Park, located at the north side of the island, is an ecological preserve. The highest point of Bonaire, the mountainous Brandaris, 240m high is located within this preserve and has a complete view of the island. Lac Bay, on the eastern side of the island, is a windsurfer's paradise. Locals Tati and Tonki Franz in 2004 were ranked in the top five of the world's freestyle windsurfing professionals. Atlantis Beach, on the western part of the island, is the local kite surfing spot. Education Bonaire's educational system is patterned after the Dutch system. Early grades are taught solely in paid menchu, with more and more Dutch being introduced as the grade level progresses. There is also an offshore American Caribbean medical schools in Bonaire called St. James School of Medicine. Settlements The only generally recognized towns on the island are Krelendish and Rincon. Krelendish has many suburbs neighborhoods, although on an island with such a small population, the distinction is not always clackhut. Krelendij's suburbs neighborhoods include Antriel, Belnam, Harto, Lima, Nodzalina, Nicoboco, Republique, Sabadeco, Sabana, Santa Barbara, Tiracora, 
Other smaller settlements include Fontaine, Lagan, Sarobon, Spelonk, Wanapa, Labra, Ishire, Kokorobi, Jandoran, Vlijt, Rigot, Porto Spano, and Kunkai were several smaller towns that had existed in the national park, but were later abandoned. Languages Dutch is the official language of Bonaire, as it is part of the Netherlands. According to the 2001 census, it is the main language of 8.8% of the population. The most widely spoken language is the Creole language Pape Menchu, which is the primary language of 74.7% .7 of the populace and is recognized by the government. Spanish is the main language of 11.8% of the people, English is the primary language of 2.8%, and other languages account for 1.8%. Media Trans World Radio Relay Station Trans World Radio operates a radio relay station on Bonaire with a medium wave transmitter and several short wave transmitters at 12A degree 6 a euro squared 23 a euro cubed N68 A degree 17 a euro squared 1 a euro cubed W. The medium wave transmitter is the most powerful medium wave transmitter in America, having operated with as much as a half megawatt. The antenna of the medium wave transmitter consists of four 231.6 meter tall masts arranged in a parallelogram. Radio Netherlands Relay Station Radio Netherlands Worldwide operated a shortwave relay station at 12A degree 12A Euro squared 48 A Euro cubed N68 A degree 19 A Euro squared 23 A Euro cubed W. Because of widespread availability of Internet links providing higher audio quality and more flexibility, Shortwave broadcasts by RNW from Bonaire were discontinued and at the end of October 2012, the radio station was closed and installations dismantled. Sports The most popular sports on Bonaire are baseball, athletics, association football, tennis, and volleyball. The Bonaire Football Federation is an associate member of CONCACAF and the Bonaire Volleyball Federation is an associate member of NORSECAT. The baseball teams play in the Caribbean region of Little League and Pony League. Bonaire was also confirmed as the 218th Table Tennis National Association. See also Caribbean Netherlands, Caribbean Sea, Leeward Antilles. References External links, Government, Bonaire Egov Enel Euro Official Website of the Government of Bonaire, BonaireEconomy.org Euro Department of Economic and Labor Affairs. Island Information, TourismBonaire.com A Euro The official Bonaire tourism site, Bonati A Euro Bonaire Hotel and Tourism Association, Lonely Planet A Euro Bonaire, BonaireViews.com Bonaire website with panorama photos, Nature, Bonaire National Marine Park, Bonaire Nature, Washington Slag Bay I National Park, News, Bonaire Reporter A Euro English Language Weekly News Sheet about Bonaire, Webcams, Breathe Bonaire a Euro Live Week comes from Bonaire, BonaireWebcams.com a Euro Live Week comes from the island of Bonaire.